G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. So today I'll be reviewing something that I've seen, you know, a lot of other reviewers do recently. It's been popping up around. It is Obelon, the first Ukrainian beer. Comes in at 5% ABV in this rather nice yellow 500ml can. 5% 500ml for a lager. You really can't go wrong there. <laughs> So yeah, this obviously comes from Ukraine. Not sure when it was first introduced, but uh, apparently it was the first one. Well, the first mass-produced big one, I assume. But um, yeah, very interesting. Thanks, uh, Dave from Swilling Grog, for sending this one in. It's been sitting in the fridge for a while, so I thought today would be the day to do it. But I noticed a couple of other people doing it recently. I wonder if, um, you know, just recently it's kind of been distributed kind of around, you know, the world and stuff. Wouldn't be surprised, but yeah, let's give this one a little pour in this Singtao mug, which holds 500 mils, apparently, presumably. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure. I think that's I think that's bigger than 500 mils because look at that that's a 500 mil. My God. I I can't get that all in there. I mean, there's still a little little dribble left. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, oh, I guess I could take a little sip. There we go. It's all in there. All right. So right for the back, guys. Uh, definitely a cloudy, hazy appearance. Golden amber colour, little head, but I assume it's probably just the way I've poured it, as I've tried to kind of pour it up as much as possible. But yeah, definitely very cloudy for a lager. You see it there, probably a low to moderate amount of carbonation overall. Yeah. So anyway, let's go for the aroma now for Obelum Premium. Sweet malts. Yeah, just kind of your typical full strength lager smell. So anyway, guys, I think it's high time that I give Obelon Premium a proper try. Cheers, cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, quite tasty overall, actually. Hmm. So yeah, immediately you get a big nice hit of sweet malts. The bitterness is well balanced with the sweetness. It's quite a crisp, tasty lager overall. Body is probably about moderate, I'd say. It's not really kind of light, but it's definitely not heavy in any way, shape or form. Definitely smooth and drinkable for 5% ABV. Yeah, quite nice overall. <laughs> Excuse me. Quite nice overall. Let's go for another gulp, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, very tasty overall. I am quite surprised by the cloudy look to it. But yeah, looking at the ingredients, water, light barley mould for rice and hops. So yeah, they've got rice in there, which, which is actually um, kind of uh, interesting, actually. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, definitely a very tasty beer. Who would have thought from Ukraine, eh? So yeah... Anyway, here's to uh, one for the Ukrainians going through some bullshit at the moment. Cheers to you guys. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Well, nothing really good's come of that, has it? So anyway, guys, <laughs> it's kind of got dark fast, didn't it? Anyway, back to the beer, shall we? Let's go for a final sip and a final score. Cheers to you Yeah, just a delicious full strength body, you know, full strength lager overall. Yeah, quite tasty, nothing wrong with it. I'm sure if I ever visit Ukraine in the future, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'll be sure to uh, pick up some of this, that's for sure. Yeah, quite a cool can design overall, definitely a nice European medieval font. So yeah, anyway guys, um, overall I'd have to give Oberlon Premium. A solid 8.5 out of 10, guys. Pretty good overall. Can't really find too much to fault with it. 
it's definitely tasty, that's for sure. So anyway guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, cheers.